there was one from the crowd. Let's get that one. Yes, I noticed you needed an on-site physiotherapist. <laughs> on-site physiotherapist. Yeah, uh, Neem can answer this because apparently there was an on-site physiotherapist that I never saw and <laughs> never helped me in any way whatsoever. Well, as you can imagine, it was um, uh, difficult to shoot. The, the physiotherapist was in uh, the Canadian part, which was uh, the in the interior of the institution. Uh, and it was very difficult to go in day in, day out for six weeks to that place and live through what you saw on screen. So we tried to make things a little bit, you know, good in, in the background. You know, we put like, for instance, a tent where everyone could eat so they had, could actually get out of the building. Uh, and we had a physiotherapist, we had music. There's a room where people at lunchtime could go and jam and they played music. And, uh, you know, we just tried to make life really good so that uh, they could uh, forget about the hell that they were creating on well, screen. I, I was wondering what the actors went through to create Well, he was an actor, so you'll tell I won't explain that I was already dead by the time the physiotherapist arrived. Where was it when I was crawling through this excrement? You know, where was the physiotherapist? Now, I, I will say that when I finished writing the script, I thought, okay, prepare yourself. No matter what, this is going to be a hellish shoot. And, uh, um, amazingly, even though all the cast was there in that environment, which was kind of smelly and uncomfortable, um, it was incredibly comfortable. Like, uh, I, I remember one day at lunch, these two extras, these two women who went through this whole experience, came up to Fernando and said to him, thank you so much, we finished working now, we want to thank you. And he went, well, why are you? thanking me, you know, I put you through all this, I, you were raped, you know, you're not supposed to be thanking me, and they said, I know, but it was such a beautiful, um, supportive environment, and it really helped us feel that no matter what, we could endure it, you know, and, I, I, and it, it really struck me, because I always felt that that was something about the book, that when you, when I read the book, I thought it was, it was almost an endurance test after a while, but what inspired me about the book was that there was this hope, there was this uh, there's this confidence in, in, in the ability of humans to endure the worst possible circumstances. So even the extras were feeling that, and so it made me feel very good in the sense.